people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman if you're embarking on a relationship or questioning the longevity of an existing one which covid has caused many of us to do um, then i've got a little technique that i first heard about from anthony robbins the life guru that might help you gain some clarity on the things that are going to keep you connected over the years and i did this about six weeks before i married my ex-husband and despite the evidence being there on paper and my gut feeling i took no notice went ahead and got married anyway and consequently ended up having one very painful and costly divorce that i'm still dealing with the ramifications of 16 years later um, but basically this exercise um it sounds really straightforward but it can be quite painful to do quite difficult but it's about looking at all your values and the behaviors and qualities you want in a relationship against that of the person that you are with or potentially want to be with so get a piece of paper and write a list of absolutely everything you want and it can be as insignificant in the grand scheme of things as you want someone to hold your hands in public, hand in public, or laugh at your jokes, or hold the car door or open, or whatever it is. But at the very top of that list has to be your core values that underpin who you are fundamentally, and which cannot be compromised under any circumstances. They, they are as they are. So, for example, if you want children and your person doesn't, that's going to be a potential divide. If you share one faith and it matters to you that the person you're with shares the same faith and they don't, that's going to be a divide. If you want financial security and your person wants to lead a champagne lifestyle on a lemonade budget that's going to get you in debt, that's going to be a divide. Um, and it can be a real eye opener. And the irony is when I did it, because my ex-husband represented so much of the stuff that was on my overall list, it was very easy to see looking back why I got so um, hoodwinked, you know, blindsided, because he actually scored pretty high on my list of things I wanted, probably about 90% in terms of my original ideal man. But here's the rub, because the things that mattered to me most, fundamentally, my core values were completely different from his. And that is the reason, fundamentally, you know, we ended up getting divorced. So um, whereas my lovely Jay, who I've been married, who I've been with for 16 years and married for six, seven, I think this year, um, is so different for me in so many ways. You know, he would much rather be on a beach with boardy shorts and flip flops and Carmen Electra and I can't blame him. <laughs> but you know what, our core values are absolutely the same. So look, this can be difficult because especially if you're in an established relationship where you feel you've grown apart, it can actually make you realise that you know what you have and you might not be able to come back from that. But equally, it can also show you that fundamentally you're still the same people and it can help you readdress that balance and reconnect so it does involve a little bit of bravery because it could also mean that you end up having to walk away from something that's been part of your life for a long time and whilst I am not being flippant here about throwing a relationship away especially having had a very painful divorce I also know what it's like to never feel so alone when you are with somebody um and if you are with the wrong person and you're not being nurtured or cherished or vice versa, then you are doing yourself and potentially that other person a disservice. Um, and it does ask you to really be honest with yourself here, because look, if you've just met a person and they're earning um, a minimum wage and you are really materialistic and it matters to you that you have a certain lifestyle then you know what you've got to be honest here because whether you want to admit it the person that you are with probably won't ever be able to give you what you want in terms of material stuff and um, that's a bit of a you know a bitter pill to swallow because it turns the attention on you and what you're inherent values are but again it's about being honest it's about being really true to yourself and um that's if nothing else something that you know we should all strive to do for other people as well as ourselves so look i hope this has helped don't confuse it by the way with opposites because opposites absolutely attract it's really about your core values and 
really analysing those against those of the person that you're with. Um, and it could steer you away from a potential heartbreak and it could also help you reconnect with an existing love so um look until next time remember if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together doing the best we can we all deserve to lead a clutter-free life and until next time please subscribe and like and love and share and poke me and all of that stuff and now i'm going to go and get a cup of tea massive love as always